Okay, so we are okay. recording now. I'm going to uh, mute because i got to type real loud. So. Okay. So my first thing is activity over the past week has still been good despite this temporary break. Writing every day gets tedious, so this has been kind of nice. As long as you are doing shit together and in comms, uh, so, you know, Discord, it's fine. Okay? Uh, number two. Please do not use people's real names while we are recording. You will be told when we are recording. In addition to this, we need to tighten up on the slurs while recording. Personally, I do not care, but YouTube does, and we have received a strike over it, which expires December 1st. Last one. We have a Weapon of the Week thread on the forums. Tuesday, the 21st, is your last day to offer input on the auto gun if you have it. You are not required to, but if we do not get feedback, then the weapons will remain the same. This is your opportunity to effect real change in our guns. If you need help accessing the forums, ask one of us and we'll get you set up. Okay? Alright, that's all I had. Alright. Um... Fuck, I... Hang on. I need to get my notes up. Okay, yeah, uh, on Weapon of the Week. Uh, please, if you have something to say about the weapon we are discussing, please put some input in. Let's try to keep the speculative conversations about, like, what a change implies to a minimum, unless it's, like, somebody being like, hey, let's put a nuke in the grenade launcher or something like that, uh, so that the threads don't get super long, so they're easier to comb through, and then at the end of the week, one of us will go through and highlight the key talking points on that. Uh, the, the weapon of the week will start, we'll pick a different weapon every Tuesday until we get through everything that people think need to be needs to be addressed after Tuesday we'll put up a vote and then we will select the weapon that got the most votes this time around as the next weapon for talking points um as for activity um there really is like the problem is that we really only have like two raid targets we have epsilon and grand fed uh, especially with this many guys on um, so just, you know, if, if you have to, and you don't feel like raiding Epsilon or Grand Fed, or you just don't feel like raiding at all, just get everybody together and go play a different game, or split up into two groups and hit two smaller groups. Like, you can hit, like, Silverhawks, and even the sim attached to Silverhawks, whatever, the Soul Reaper, whatever sim chain. Um, as for the, back on the topic of Weapon of the Week, do not expect instant changes. Like, uh, it, it's going to be something where Dread will work on it when he gets around to it, but it will be the priority over updating another weapon or something like that that doesn't have a glaring game-breaking bug in it or something. Um, as for shit that we said we were going to do at the last meeting, I think some of that stuff actually got done, but I don't recall what. <laughs> so... Well, a major one is Sam is now, like, for all intents and purposes, an overlord. Yeah. Um, yeah. That goes into what uh, Rachel Zoller is going to cover. Okay, that was all I had to say. Okay, thanks for the name drop, Dread Hustle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fucked it up already, dude. Yeah. I knew I knew it was... Oh, yeah, 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 hang on, hang on. Uh, does that apply to Rachel? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, for the record, I don't care that you guys call me by my real name outside of when we're recording, but when we are recording, if you could try not to, I know it's hard because I've known a lot of you guys for like seven years and you've always used my real name, but whatever. If you say it, I, I really don't care. <laughs> you should calm Honestly, down, you yeah. should calm down uh, 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 Chantel because my name's Rachel. Yeah, yeah well, just call me Chantel, whatever. Honestly, with first names, there's not a lot of damage that can be done anyway. Yeah, so and I I, it's not like it I have much. a super unique first name anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, but yeah, that, but anyway. I was going to ask that. I'm done. All right. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so I did talk to Sarah and she has agreed to step down to just command relic for now while she deals with some real life stuff. So that leaves Sam to be our new overlord. Yay, Sam. Clap for Sam. Clap for Sam. Clap for Sam. Hooray for Sam. While Sarah steps down, I am stepping in to take over doing sim rent every week. So that's happening. Me and Dredd already updated the sim boxes and make sure that they work and all that crap. Um, I did send her a message because Tyro brought this up last minute, and I don't think it's a super big priority, but I did bring it up to her anyway, that we need to probably have her assign ownership of the Discord to someone else. So I did message her, message her about it. If she does it, great. If not, whatever. But it'll probably go to um, Tyro. If not Tyro, it'll be me or Hadette. Um, I, I was originally owner of the Discord, and I handed it off uh, to Sarah because I was going out of my way to expose Discord's moderation team for their uh, child abuse scandal. Nice. And uh, I would prefer that uh, you or Tyro get it because eventually I'll make okay. somebody mad and the server will get shut down if I'm the owner. Okay. So. I'll probably just take it then because fuck Tyro. Yeah. Also, right. um, <laughs> I did make... me Actually, me and Tyro made a pretty big update to how we do applications. I'm pretty sure I posted a, um, a description of that when we had our command meeting last week, but basically it's just super short. You fill in your name and your age and all that stupid shit and you send it to me. And then I do an interview with them later because usually that just works better aside from me getting a note card full of memes that tells me nothing. <laughs> and I did put something on forum. So if there's a rare thing where I can't do it, someone else can. Uh, the end. I have a dumb question about got. the application. What is your dumb question, Tyronius? Did you put the new application into the welcome area? Yes, I did, actually. It wasn't there oh. before, but it is there now. Okay, and I believe right now there's a notice from the 12th that is uh, the new application, if you want. Yes, I did send out the new application in group notices for those of you who like to go recruiting. So if you are one of those people, just make sure that's the application that you hand out to people. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I missed something. Um, we are aware of an issue with the cult bomb. We are aware that someone might be doing it intentionally. Red and I are probably about to wrap up patching that out. So, if uh, yeah. if someone detonates your cult bomb that's not in the group, don't expect it to be happening for much longer than like the next day or two. I'll we'll probably be, be uh, bug testing it with uh, Adama since he uh, reported it probably later yeah. today or tomorrow. Okay. Okay, um, so I don't have notes, but uh, I would like to say me and uh, Baby Daddy are getting the ARC Rifle uh, model updated, as well as the ARC Pistol made. We're just getting Shuka to do it again because we wanted to give you guys a present. Cool. Um, we um, are also what's talking going on about the... auto gun variants. Yeah. What's going on with the Shock Mall? Or the, uh, uh, the... That's a good cue. I could work on that. Okay, because we do have the model for that. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, the Kanabo as well. Like, those are things that can quickly be wrapped up. Like, the Kanabo okay. works. Take the MLG sounds out of it. And the animations aren't perfect, but it's fun to use because you can knock people's grenades back at them and shit. So. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't work as well as I'd like, but yeah, I can fuck with that some more. Probably yeah, that. well, we're at a 0 0.6 on it right now. We can get to 0 yeah. 0.8. That's a good test state to it, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tyro, do you have anything? Oh. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Bentley? I do. Thank you. Go ahead. No, that's oh, Baby Daddy. Not... Don't use Baby his Daddy, name. yeah. All right, sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. Uh, so as Dred mentioned, we are looking at some new models. Uh, if you have access to Mechanicus, you probably also saw that we were talking about the Phosphor weapons. Oh, I can post them. Um, Let me do that in chat. I, well, I just put a thread up, actually. Yeah, oh, those cool. are probably going to be, like, behind everything else, but uh, that might be a new weapon category on the horizon, which is cool. Um, to piggyback a little bit off of what Hadette said, uh, I was going to bring this up. Uh, as for smaller groups, and in the case of Silverhawks, not so small group, uh, just some important things to know if you're leading raids. 
Uh, I know Irvant and Adama and Strelok are aware of this already. Silverhawks, if you want to raid them, you basically have to be on like during the day American time because they're all in European time. So they go to bed you know, by the time a lot of the people here are getting out of work. Um, as far as ASR goes, I uh, was hanging out with uh, someone from their group in real life the other day, and they were saying that they are actually making progress in terms of like being a functional combat group. That being said, they probably don't, they're not going to open up their sim anytime soon from what I'm seeing. If you want to do combat with them, I think you can probably just send them a message and they will probably come raid us. Yeah, the only way you're ever going to do combat with ASR is in these brief moments of a little bit of activity that they have. ASR has been trying to rebuild and reopen since 2010. Yeah. So um, um, don't ever expect them to have an open sim. Don't ever expect them to have consistently scripted gear or anything like that. So don't complain when they're using some weird TG level crap from 11 years ago. Just be aware that that's the kind of combat you're going to be doing. Put Put on like a crazy gun or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, ASR was very much a tingered group of relying on the leadership always being around, like New Rome was and Talon was and all that stuff. They don't actually have a group structure. Like, you saw it with Morpheus' group where the group structure was, oh, these guys are my friends, and not so much, oh, these guys drive activity. Yeah. And sadly, over the span of 10 fucking years, these people still hasn't, haven't figured that shit out in another group in that line uh that is available for combat that we can actually raid uh which has an added benefit of the, uh, usually being around like late uh american time is uh nzr yeah um i'm not sure how long they're going to be around in all honesty uh i think it'd be worthwhile for someone maybe an overlord or the enforcers to like reach out to nzr and just kind of like give them some friendly advice uh, because they're making, Rob. yeah, they're making good headway now. But uh, anyway, I th- we'll talk about it later in command chat. Um, so those are some targets to keep in mind. Uh, New Jesse, as many of you know, is now detached from the combat continent, so you're not at risk of getting GPU'd. Uh, hey, like uh, were... excuse me. Um, that is an insult to the project that I invested a lot of time and money into. Can you yeah. please call it the retard continent? The retard yeah. continent. Yeah, uh, All right, thank you. So, uh, Epsilon and Grand Fed have made pretty good showings there. Uh, we've been there a few times, but just know that like you can go and do combat uh, at New Jesse. Other groups will notice. Uh, it is pretty active, so like I do want to see more chaos guys out there. Uh, as far as like raid stuff goes and like SLMC news, that's pretty much it. The only thing that I have to add is to Koi seems like it is dead on arrival. Yeah. Uh, this could change, but um, Zasha doesn't seem like super big into running the group anymore. I think that... Uh, Why don't they made... get it back to us? Yeah, that's the solution, yeah. honestly. <laughs> because uh, we wouldn't let service be NCO. Yes. Uh, and that's what killed Takoi. So if anyone asks why Takoi is uh, not around right now, say it's because of service service. yeah exactly um beyond that uh we are reaching the point where we had some recent recruits that have uh made it through cult that have become uh enlisted that are kind of going into seasonal mode which happens it's not a bad thing so we probably do need to be looking into a recruitment drive because the past few raids we've done on Epsilon in particular, we, uh, we've we been, like, pretty severely outnumbered, so we could yeah, use... Yeah, we've only had, like, five guys. Yeah, we could probably use another little boost uh, for recruitment. Uh, I think the new application should make that easier. And another thing to keep in mind with recruitment is, like, don't feel bad if you have someone get into Colt and phase out, and don't feel bad if you have someone make it through Colt. They stick around for a few weeks, and then they phase out. That's the way it goes, but we, that's what we do need. Is there for. Yeah, we need a, a revolving door uh, in terms the, of the, numbers. The way that I've always looked at Colt is uh, one out of every five cultists becomes a successful contributing member to the group, and um, uh, I think that that's pretty still pretty much the norm. Uh, the the group 
you know, is a little abrasive. It's hard to fit into and shit like that to begin with. But like, uh, for the most part, we're gonna we're only every five recruits we get, we're only gonna end up keeping one of them for more than three or four months for the most part. Yeah. Um, uh, to piggyback what uh, Baby Daddy was saying about seasonal, don't feel bad if someone just goes into seasonal mode too, because if there is enough seasonal people then their seasons will coincide with each other yeah and we will we have, have, have good shows. Every, we don't have to have everybody like throughout the entire year because that is a lot to ask for people that may not be the like taking everything super seriously or you know yeah. wanting to be here for every little thing like people should do too yeah and i think for a lot of uh like you know your your terminal enlisted guys, uh, terminal you know this is enlisted. yeah this is like another another game you know so yeah. they'll get into second life, uh, they'll get into SL combat, and then they'll lose interest and play a different game and then come back and do it later. Uh, yeah. We need those guys too, so if you feel like someone is going to be like that, uh, but they're otherwise cool, like don't have any hesitation recruiting them because they are useful. We don't need everybody to be like, you know, a future like overlord or something like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Even and just unfortunately, the body, even the body is, is something like, you don't expect everyone to get to Marauder even, you know, like yeah. they don't have to have responsibilities. If they show up and fight with us and, you know, have a good time, even maybe two days out of the week, that's cool. Better than um, stuff anyway. You don't need to be a marauder. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, uh, you know, uh, before like the past seven days, uh, where we had a few things happen, uh, and we were getting into other stuff, uh, which is good. Uh, Irvant was the main guy leading raids. Uh, for anyone that has veteran, uh, you can do that too. Uh, you can just get someone to send out the notices for you. Uh, it would be really nice to have some more people. Uh, taking initiative so it's not all on like Irvine's shoulders. Um, so you know if you if you want to lead a raid uh, and you haven't done it before, you know this is a good time to start. Uh, and some advices just because people aren't in the Discord or even online doesn't mean you can't reach them just by sending them an IM. Yeah. Um, I have one last thing to add uh, to what I was doing earlier. Sorry, my notes were a little mixed up between different meetings. Um, so we are working on a pass to the handbook, uh, and I would appreciate people's input on it. It's currently the open pull request on the handbook. Uh, we talked about this in the command meeting last weekend. Um, so, so far, uh, what's being changed is we're adding a little bit better wording about how to conduct yourselves and not, like speak for the whole group like uh basically like don't be a fucking shithead and cause problems for us that we have to handle on a command level because that's annoying uh the other thing is that people need to when they're having an issue and this hasn't been an issue lately uh if you're having an issue with another member it gets resolved a lot faster if you bring it up with an enforcer like right away uh, once it become once it becomes clear that you can't solve the problem between each other on your own, because that way we can get the situation solved and there isn't long-standing grudges being formed against each other over silly shit. So. Oh, uh, Zane also handed me the gas mask models. So Zane, are you cool with me getting those textured, or do you want to texture them, or? Um, I I won't be able to do it. Uh, okay, I think that's today fine. was a big exception. I don't think I'll be able to sit long enough to do anything like okay. that. Okay, are you comfortable bit. with me getting them textured uh, so long as they don't get distributed to anybody outside of Mechanicus? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I mean, right. Sarah was originally asking for them, but because yeah. of, you know... But I'll I talk mean, to her and see if she wants to do it because she has gotten on and done a couple little mechanicus projects here and there for me since she's been taking a break. So, all right. Well, Is that yeah, and I you think. Had? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Keeping it in the. I was just gonna yeah, say yeah. keeping it in that style, like maybe even Sarah has a substance 
Yeah, she has SBR setup. files for it. Um, yeah. So the reason why I was bringing that up is Billard has offered to rig up the armor for VR chat in Neos VR for us. Mm-hmm. I have brought this up before. I do not want to do that just yet. I don't want to get them uploaded onto those servers just yet, but I would like it to be ready when we're ready. So yeah. um, uh, the reason why I don't want to do that right away, as nice as it would be to have our armor as an avatar in VR chat or any other VR platform, is because once they're on those platforms, we have even less control over who has access to those model files. And eventually we're just going to have to accept that when we have to move on to another platform, but we might have a completely different armor set by then too. Um, but what I'm trying to say is I don't want to get that set up and uploaded just yet because then anyone could have it and run with it and shit like that. And it kind of ruins the draw for, uh, recruiting and shit like that. And that's another big thing. Like if you go around in our new armor, we, we have a really nice looking armor set. It's made recruiting a lot easier. You have to understand that at some point, like copy botting is le- much more prevalent in VRC. Uh, yeah. Somebody will take it, somebody will steal it, they'll give it to other people, they will use it to make commissions for other people. You will have yeah. a literal 12 year olds who are paying $25 for custom versions of our armor that we have yeah, no idea funny. even exists. Okay. All right. Please. That was uh, all I had to say about that. Do Does we have anyone anything else? have any other business? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, wait before you stop recording, I do have a okay. question. Yes. Uh, you're gay? I mean, kind of. All right, cool.